हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अरिना इंटरनेशनल मास्टर एंड फीडे इंस्ट्रक्टर ऋषिकेश चौहान वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे प्रैक्टिस सेशंस सो इट्स फाइव प्लस थ्री एज यूजल फॉर अस ओके वी आर वाइट लेट्स प्ले आर फेवरेट डी फोर Okay, we are going to play our Catalan. Okay, this is bit unusual. As this bishop was already active uh, active through this diagonal, there was no need to develop this bishop uh, on g7. will win back that pawn sooner or later Okay. Now I'm thinking about playing uh, knight e5 so that we can get back this pawn. If he captures, then we'll play uh, queen to e5. <coughs> Sorry. Now we will try to uh, install our knight on this d6 square. Okay. Uh, okay, this bishop is hanging right. I will losing anything else. No. If we captures, we are going to play d into e5. Then we'll try to play knight to e4 and then to d6. This d7 bishop is very bad. Uh, so we'll try to keep that bishop uh, inside as long as possible. Even if he captures the knight on c3, uh, he is exchanging his strong knight with her knight. So that way he will still have this bad bishop on d7. So capturing on c3 won't help us. Oh sorry, uh, won't help him. Okay, maybe he's trying to play uh, b5. Okay. What if we place b5? Should we capture or should we simply play queen to c5? Because then pawn into pawn, rook into pawn, he will get this uh, b2 pawn. 
we are getting this a f i pawn but uh, this looks nice right because this c six pawn is still sitting on this square a six pawn is still sitting and that way the bishop on d seven is very bad okay that's good for us because now our bishop is open through this diagonal and 96 is still coming so maybe he will play uh, rook d8 so that he can play uh, rook uh, bishop f8 later on We have to move the knight. Um, let's see. I'm not sure. Should we play a uh, queen? to e2 why i am not so sure about uh, queen c5 is again he will uh, play the same plan he will move the rook to d8 and then you can play bishop to f1 so playing queen over here bishop uh, rook to d8 and bishop f8 will kick our queen again let's let's play this this looks more logical right Stop this pawn first because he can sacrifice that pawn. So we'll stop this pawn. Rook d8, knight d6, any queen move, and then maybe we'll recapture the pawn. Though his pawn up, uh, his pieces are uh, not coordinated well. Oh. It's a blunder. Of course, we are going to capture the queen. But otherwise, uh, queen to f7 was a checkmate. So he missed that and he should resign now. Oh, he's still playing. That's a brave boy.
why is he still playing he can resign right Are we losing anything right now? There is this uh, kind of fork coming up. It is not that strong. Let us kick this root. Uh, kick this root. So, we can control this uh, e3 square. Uh, he is just trying his luck but uh, I don't know why he is still playing this game because he is queen down he is going to lose this knight and there is no checkmate coming up max to max there will be this check and we will simply run away yeah finally he resigned uh, let's get back to that uh, position where he uh, blundered a queen uh, so he blundered his queen on yeah, knight to d6 Let's invite Mr. Stockfish. Yeah, Stockfish is showing clear plus. As you can see, uh, plus 4 for white. So, yeah, he is suggesting queen to f8. So, he probably was trying to play queen to f8. It was a mouse slip. But what we can do, right? Rook into a4. Uh, queen to e7. And we can, should we double the rooks? Oh, there is no need to double the rooks on e5, right? We can simply capture the pawn. And still we are winning because we are uh, uh, materially up. Our uh, pieces are better placed. There is this uh, discover attack coming up any time. So black will have to be uh, careful about that. Uh, so we played nice in this game. Uh, he played uh, kind of passively in the opening. Uh, he allowed us to develop. Uh, our pieces on more active squares and uh, while doing that his own pieces were uh, sitting on some passive square uh, main uh, mistake I think he made was he developed his dark square bishop through g7 uh, where the, at, at that time that bishop was already active through other diagonal there was no need to uh, invest or I can say waste two moves in developing a developed piece so mm, Many times we do, we make this mistake. Uh, instead of moving the piece on the more natural looking or the uh, easier uh, square, we try to develop the piece uh, uh, in some odd way, and that will hamper our middle game plans. And then we'll suffer very badly in the middle game, and in the end game we'll we'll enter the end game with uh, uh, material deficit. So I hope you enjoyed this Catalan game. So till next time. Thank you very much.